From hot spots to hidden gyms, this is your guide to the golden arches, the LA unscripted way, and I call the quarter pounder. Oh, well then I'm getting the fries, the smoothie, and a filet of fish. Okay. All right, all right, McNuggets, these are mine. It's the savory symbol recognized around the world. And with over 38,000 restaurants in more than 100 countries, McDonald's has been serving up smiles since 1948. Hi everyone, I'm Dana Devon, and look at my little LAU nuggets, Jasmine Simpkins and Olivia De Bartoli, shaking things up as we celebrate our sponsor, McDonald's. Cheers. Yes, cheers, cheers, cheers. Even as the mostly pesca vegan eater of the crew, I am loving it. Fries, a smoothie, yes. And also, as an original Angelino, we are proud of the fast food fact that the franchise started right here in California in San Bernardino. Oh, I had no cool. idea. I didn't know that either. Another nugget today, California is home to more than 1,000 Mickey D's, with more than 300 in LA County alone. And I heard you two small fries had some supersized fun at the local M Games. Welcome everyone to the fourth annual M Games. My I goodness. am your co-host Rain Day and we're live at the McDonald's production studio in the city of Industry, California. I'm joined here by McDonald's franchise business partner and the best dressed man in the room, the one and only Jonathan Foster. Jonathan, we know your love for Michigan and we know your love for football. Where do the M Games rank? My goodness, M Games number one, of <laughs> course. The M Games started back in 2020, 2021, when restaurants were still heavily restricted due to COVID. And we wanted to get our restaurant employees still engaged in fun and competitive events. So we thought, let's create a competition for all Southern California restaurant employees to participate in via Zoom or, or YouTube live stream so that they can compete um, and showcase their skills and talents that they show on a day-in, day-out basis at the restaurant. Uh, we started through YouTube live stream with Genji supporting that platform, and we kept them in the, the loop with the, with the games as they are now, except we're doing it live in person at the McDonald's production studio in the city of industry. It really gives it a different vibe for all of our competitors to see each other face to face now that we can get back into the restaurant setting. Someone from West LA can compete against someone from San Diego in, in their restaurant. And we, uh, we played games, so egg cracking, speedy order taking, pack that pie, build a Mac, bagging french fries, anything that you could think of in a restaurant. Uh, we played games and made it fun. So it's been four years in and we're still going strong. I wanted to get involved in the end games not only to um, represent my organization but also to um, experience um, some sort of competition. It's, I mean, it's the best part about doing these type of things is being able to not only get to know people and the people you uh, genuinely work for but also the type of competitions that um, really excite me. I'm competing in pack a pie And what is that? Uh, it's a competition that they time you. You uh, grab a box, you, pie, you pack the pies inside the boxes, and then you make sure to put your timers on them. All right, Jonathan, Jasmine and I are gonna compete in the pack a pie competition later on today. I need the upper hand. <laughs> what are some tips you could give me? Uh, well, some tips I could probably give you is the way I like to do things is um, when the pies come out, uh, there's usually, you know, four in each side. Okay. I usually pack uh, four from one side and I usually switch the tray since I have, uh, since obviously I feel more confident with my right hand and picking Same. up the pies. Okay. And then once I do that, I put all the times on as quickly as possible. So okay. I usually like to flip the trays, which okay. wasn't shown in the video. Oh my gosh, that's such a good tip. <laughs> so four on one side, flip the tray, four on the other. Yes. Do you think I'm going to win? Absolutely. High five. <laughs> Well, the M Games are in a way to show a greater appreciation for our crew and managers. They're the best in the best in the fast food industry and they don't always get the recognition that they deserve. So getting them uh, a stage to compete in against fellow owner operator organizations, it's a great way to showcase our people and their talents. Ronald rocks, right? And did you know beloved weatherman Willard Scott played the very first Ronald McDonald in 1963? I had no idea. I loved Willard Scott. I didn't know that. And Dana, Ronald wanted us to share this Dana Dare. I'm so flattered. 
Hey, this is Ronald McDonald, and this is a challenge for you, Dana. I dare you to take all of the McNugget sauces, combine them, and try them. Up for the challenge? <laughs> Ronald, first of all, I love your work. Second of all, I have to say, I'm gonna go unscripted on this one because I love McDonald's so much and I'm kind of a purist with the sauces and you don't mess with my sweet and sour. So I'm gonna go nugget in the sweet and sour. I'm sorry, I love you. But that's where it's at. That's, yep. Good choice. See? Good right, choice. right. I love that McDonald's is an LAU sponsor because no joke, in high school, my nickname was Quarter Pounder because I went there every day for school and I love them so much. Oh my gosh, now that's a nickname and a popular burger. And so is the Big Mac. And now the Big Mac was the first one created in Pennsylvania back in the 1960s, originally to satisfy hungry workers after working long hours. Wow, I love all of these yeah. fun facts. It's so fun. Like, Chicken McNuggets, they were first added to the U.S. menu in 1983. And guess what four shapes they always are? Like an oval? Or in like an L shape. No L shape. No one has L shaped nuggets. Yes. What? what? Yeah, you can dip it good. Wrong and wrong, wrong and wrong. Wrong and wrong. Okay. There's a boot, what? a ball, a bone, or a bell. Okay. What, which one is your favorite one to dip? The, the boot. boot. What boot? The boot. I'll take any shape Chicken McNugget, and we have more of that secret sauce that makes McDonald's your go-to when LA Unscripted is back. More exclusive McDonald's fun coming up. <music> McDonald's and LA Unscripted go together like fries in a shake. Welcome back to LA Unscripted. I'm Dana Devon, and on this special McDonald's sponsored episode, McDonald's employees, owners, and operators are going for gold and going beyond the golden arches. And after the Olympics said au revoir to Paris, local restaurateurs are keeping their eye on the fry at the end game. They know they're going to the finals. And look how cool, calm, and collected they really are. My goodness. I know. Even after, give me a fifth. No fifth. I need that fifth. Fist bump? Oh. I do a high five. High oh, five! High I love five. That. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. So this thing is super cool because we all love contests, right? Anytime we have like a contest or a prize or just a way to like, gamify anything, it always creates excitement and fun. So we're always, and that's what I love about McDonald's, we're always trying to gamify everything because if we're gamifying it and having fun, you're probably gonna enjoy it more. So I've been an owner operator since 2011 and I love what the brand represents in terms of culture, people, growth. I focus on culture and building people from the inside out. And what I mean by that is that we're always talking about encouraging each other. We actually do like an organizational book club. So we read a book together every week. Okay, you guys, who remembers this slogan from the 70s? To all beef patty, special sauce, lettuce, cheese, pickles, onions on a sesame bun. I remember Do you remember that? You remember I remember that. that. I remember that. It's a great, it was so good. McDonald's makes me happy, clearly. And another fun fact, the Happy Meal has been a staple on the menu since 1979. You know who else is happy? The 70,000 plus California employees. I've been doing this for 17 years and my passion for McDonald's and what they do is just amazing. I am Erica Cornejo. I work for the Carter's organization and I'm a general manager. So Erica, how cool is it being a McDonald's employee? So if you didn't finish your high school, you're able to get your GED through that. Yes. And then tuition for um, staff members as, you know, management is a different tuition and then also it's you know, based on your performance and things like that. So, you know, doing well has its rewards. The Fairmar Safari McDonald's organization, they are our owner operators, and we are always looking for the next person to develop. We're really focused on our people and really want to see the next level for them. We recently had five graduates with the Archway to Opportunities program where they help you pay for your college tuition. So I was able to get my bachelor's degree with their help. And luckily enough, my owner operators created this marketing department for me. I've been in the Archways Opportunity for about a year now. I'm pursuing my psychology degree. I 100% recommend this program to other people. You're able to balance your life out with your work and school life. It's pretty easy. 
I love what the brand represents in terms of culture, people, growth. I've been an owner operator since 2011. I started as a crew, right? But again, with the mentality as in, I'm just here, temporary, it's okay. And then I seen what they do. At that time, my general manager had her uh, certificates, right? So I went into the office and I see them and I said, hey, I want that. How can I do that? And then uh, she's like, well, you have to do this and you have to do that. And then after that, every morning, I would chase her with coffee. I'd be like, I want that. And 17 years later, here you are. I take my teams in Audi. I personally would um, work at the night shift and send them all to the Dodger game. They come back and they're like, Eric, and I was like, yes, go have a great time. I have a huge passion for my job. I love to share any type of knowledge and McDonald's does provide you a lot of knowledge and how you receive it is just uh, beautiful and I want everybody to have the same thinking that I have that yes, go for it for McDonald's, it's really nice, yes. All right, I've had my appetizer, which was the chicken nuggets. Now time for the main course. Isn't she beautiful? Gorgeous. The quarter pounder with cheese. More McDonald's madness coming up. Mm, oh. Good bite. What's on the menu? McDonald's and LAU, the perfect combination. <laughs> In this special sponsored LAU, we are celebrating our partners at McDonald's. The M Games recently went down, and we were down to get in on the action. All right, you guys, it is finally time. Jasmine and I are going to go to head to head and pack that pie. Andrew, what are the rules of the game? Rules are simple. You're going to pack all eight pies. First, assemble the boxes, one end first. Okay. Scoop it in, no hands. Okay. As you can see, I'm not a trained professional here. Close it up. What I like to do is have all the pies packed before you put timestamps here at the end. Put them on the edge, okay. and that's it. The timestamp means it's finished. Timestamp means it's finished. Okay. Hands up in the air and say, done. Gotcha. I will count you guys down, Jasmine and Olivia. Are you ready? Yes. yes. All right, three, two, one, go. I okay, like Jasmine's strategy. Okay. Making all the boxes first. Stickers going on. We gotta pick up the pace. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Here we go, Olivia coming down. Do it. Bam! Hey! Yeah. 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 I'm a sore loser. Hey. I'm not happy I lost. Great job. Cheers. Cheers. Great job, ladies. Great job. Mmm, that's a good chocolate shake, you guys. All right, Thursday for more McDonald's facts. McDonald's first drive-through opened in 1975 in Arizona. The concept was revolutionary at the time and inspired by a nearby military base where soldiers were not allowed to leave their cars while wearing fatigues. Wow. Right? Interesting. I know. Wow. The restaurants truly revere their neighbors and the Golden Arches heed the golden rule as good neighbors. Community is so important to McDonald's that they contribute to countless organizations around Southern California. The community is so important to McDonald's in, in, as a whole, as a, as a brand, because it's where we want to give back to the community where we do business. So knowing that, it's, it's something that's contagious. Everybody wants to give back. It's all about inclusion. It's all about integrity. It's all about, you know, promoting the brand. We're very appreciative of uh, the community and how they give to us. They're the reason why we're there, so we're really happy to just be able to give back to our community. We focus on raising money for the Ronald McDonald houses, and, and we're, the, we're the vehicle for that. And um, it's our customers that are the ones that are providing us with those funds for a great cause. We're very glad to partner with CAL FIRE and some of our communities with the fire departments to be able to bring awareness to the communities of how they can prevent fires and be proactive about maybe preventing some of the type of situations that we're seeing unfortunately right now. Uh, but we love to partner with our communities and just bring that awareness to them. My Teachers Night is a something in our organization that we promote. And what it is is money that gets raised that we partner up with the elementary school 
and we raised money for, for about a period of three hours. So the 20% 20, 20 of the proceeds goes back to the, the local schools that we donate money to. Ray is one of our customers that have been has been going to our location ever since the store opened. So Ray is, is one of our local customers that we're very fond of. It's our extended family. Uh, and when we had the opportunity to find out that Ray was turning 100 years old, we took on that responsibility of celebrating Ray in our location. The Boys and Girls Club is an organization that we support in our local uh, market. Uh, we donated $10,000 yearly to this great organization. We support them in events uh, that they do, and we're really there for them whenever they need us to you know, help out in whatever we can. For graduates during COVID that weren't able to have a ceremony, McDonald's did something extra special. Our organization hosted 125 students that weren't able to attend their graduations in their high school. So we uh, rented out the uh, community center in Brea, where we handed out certificates, the whole shebang, the whole, the gowns, the cap and gowns. They got to mingle with their friends. I love what I do. I have ketchup in my veins. So it's what do we do each and every day. The people that I work with, the organization again, that I work with, what we do, we give me back to the community. Did you know one in eight Americans have worked at a McDonald's and the iconic brand is woven into all things pop culture? Now, more reasons to love it with Ronald himself. Yay! What's up, LA Unscripted? Ronald McDonald here and we are at the M Games. Wow! The M Games is a competitive, fun event. It's like the Olympics for building Big Macs and packing pies. So the whole thing is a speed competition, and it's a lot of fun. It's amazing to see these people in action. These aren't titans of the industry. These are athletes performing today and competing and building the fastest burgers and packing the fastest pies and delivering them. It's astonishing. I feel like if you had to jump in the competition, which, which game would you probably be the winner at? Well, the easy answer is pies. Clowns and pies, we go back a long time, so I could, I could probably try to pack a pie. So being Ronald McDonald probably has to be the coolest gig in the world. It's amazing being Ronald McDonald. Everywhere I go, everybody's happy to see me and I'm happy to see them. I get to be in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. I get to do big events and small events. I get to visit the Ronald McDonald House Charities. So everywhere in between, and then when I'm done with that, I go back home to McDonald land. I'm sure people want autographs, they want to take <laughs> selfies. What happens though if you get a, a kid who's a little scared? I mean, you are a clown, it right? It happens. Yeah, I wear a lot of makeup. More makeup than all the grandmas in the room combined. I get it, but at the same time, I'm just a clown. Just trying to make my way in the world. So I give them their space, and usually by the end of my visit, we're taking pictures. What's your favorite thing on the my, menu? The hard-hitting questions today, my gut. Okay, so let's start with the McNuggets, right? You've got the McNuggets, but then you've got all the sauces, and they're rotating. But then there's the whole burger half of the menu. We've got the Big Mac, we've got the Quarter Pounder, the Quarter Pounder with cheese, and then there are the special uh, seasonal things that rotate in, like the McRib, that's coming back. Oh, I know. We've got all kinds of good things. I would say top to bottom, there's not a bad thing on the menu. And everybody's just happy to be at McDonald's, too, when I'm there. And so we have little conversations. What are you going to eat today? Things like that. And uh, the whole celebrity thing just melts away. Well, folks, it's been another exciting year of M Games competition. Congratulations to our winners and a sea of incredible and skilled competitors. They prove that hard work and practice definitely pay off. A huge thank you to everyone who competed and to McDonald's and Gen G for hosting this year's M Games as well. I can't wait to see what the future has in store for this amazing competition. Ronald, it's been amazing having you. Thanks for joining us. Jonathan, it's been a pleasure casting with you today. I look forward to doing it again soon. I've been your host, Rainy, and we'll see you all at next year's M Games. <laughs> I'm loving it. I'm loving it, absolutely. <laughs> Thanks, guys.
Seriously, guys, did we finish all the food? I think we did. I mean, I'm fabulously full. I'm still hungry. Thank you to McDonald's for delivering all of our favorites. Thank you so much. And where will we be next? You never know, everyone. Mwah! Check the couch cushions for more fries. I don't fries. think there's anything, There's got to be fries here somewhere.